Hello my YouTube friends and today I'm doing another video. In today's video I'm going to talk about my birdhouses that I build. Um, I do like barns a lot. I'm originally from Montana so um, there's a lot of barns that dot the prairies, foothills, and the Rocky Mountains. Anyhow, this barn is about 18 inches long and it's about a foot tall and I use materials uh, half inch plywood I use 2x4s and 4x4s which I post the birdhouses on they're quite heavy after they're built I don't put too much detail into them This is the latest one I built, and yes, there's already birds living in it. Matter of fact, when I built this birdhouse, um, uh, within about 12 hours, birds were already checking it out. It's like, I'm for rent, check me out, and they certainly did and moved in that same day. I was pretty impressed. Let me show you the other three that I've built. There's birds in each one of them. This is another version of a barn. It's about 16 inches long, almost a foot tall, not quite. Like I said, I don't put too much detail in them. It's pretty minimal, but you get the gist that it's a barn. Now, traditionally, I like to have two holes or two entrances for the birds, but this particular one, uh, I only have one entrance right in front here. Now one thing that you got to keep in mind, I've had problems with bees, wasps, not bees, excuse me, wasps, trying to make their homes inside the birdhouses. So here I've had to put, um, what do you call that, screening, aluminum screening to cover uh, the windows. I'll have to do that with the other windows and the back end. And I'll have to put the fine screening so the wasp won't make their uh, homes inside these birdhouses. This is on a two by, or excuse me, a four uh, by six post with four by four base right underneath the birdhouse. And then I just use regular uh, all season latex paint. And that's good for about five years. This is another version of a bur bur uh, barn that I've built. And again, this is on a four by six post with two by fours at the base of the barn itself to hold it up. And like I said, these are very heavy. Oh, you just saw a bird fly out. Uh, these are quite heavy. They're definitely weather resistant. And finally, the last one, bird didn't get a, I don't know what that is. I think it's cotton of some sort or some sort of fibers from a blanket that the bird's trying to take inside the, uh, the house. This one's about 20 inches long, or wide, and almost a foot tall. And once again, on a 4x6 post. So you have the entrance up front. And then I put another entrance on the side here. Now if you're wondering what the piece of wood is here, I had to do that because starlings like to uh, make residence in these homes as well. And I don't prefer starlings. There's so many of them. Thousands upon thousands. So I prefer my small finches. House finch. And then of course dotted along the fence line I have these. I bought these at Lowe's. These are just little bird boxes. They're about $9.99 at Lowe's. 
And of course there's residents in here as well. I definitely enjoy building my barns. Um, it kind of adds a little bit of uh, eclecticness. I'm gonna, if that's even such a word, but eclecticness to, to our yard. You can see a bird there. I think that's mama. Anyhow, if you have any questions about uh, these barns and how I make them, feel free to ask questions. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And as always, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I'm very eclectic when it comes to the things I post uh, on my YouTube channel. And as always, thank you for viewing this video, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks so much.